Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today is the first episode of Upcycling Madness. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but I'm gonna call it that for now. So today, we're going to make a jacket for just wearing it around the house or just for sewing, you know, because oftentimes when I sew, I always leave my scissors, my needles, my pins, my everything just laying around like without remembering where they are. So I just lose track of them under the piles of bullshit that I have on my floor all the time. So today I'm going to go look through my scraps and hopefully find some good enough materials to just work with and I'll get to you guys later. Today I'm wearing a thrifted mohair sweater, simple tee, some flared pants, and just a pair of black boots. So usually my first step is to just grab a garment that has the size or fit that I want and then I start measuring see what length it is what I want to change but in general just pick something that has a similar fit to what you want finished so that you can create a balanced silhouette without having to draw your own pattern so what I like to start doing first is to sort of sketch out the silhouette that I want or the big pattern pieces that you want in your end result. So right now I'm looking for a work jacket. So I'm thinking something with bigger sleeves for easier movement. Just a shawl collar so that um, it is easy to put on. And with this result, you can see that, you know, we got the basic shape of the jacket done. So the next is we have to sort of budget up our fabric that we have. So we try to include all the useful things we found that were pre-made. So something like the pockets, how many we have, and front pockets, belt loops, and what else? We got the studs and the buttons, right? So once we figure that out, we can kind of divide what we need based on the fabric we have and we can try to piece them together to make one complete garment. And yeah, I think that's the basic of upcycling your own clothes is to just take tally of what you have right now and try to figure out what fabric weight belongs to each other you know so you wouldn't want to pair silk with denim and you wouldn't probably want to um mix a duck canvas with a muslin or like a linen type fabric you know i mean you could if you want to make it interesting but for now we're looking to just make a basic garment that is cohesive and one way to do it is by making sure the materials are cohesive in the first place so yeah, I'm going to sketch more and I'll get back to you guys about what I land on. So whenever I start designing stuff, right, I like to make sure it's different in a way than either the silhouette, the functionality, what you can do with it. And with this um, work jacket here, I've turned it into an apron thing. I don't know if I want the zip down the middle yet, um, and a arm layer, which is which the arms are going to attach to the body here, and it's just gonna layer over it whenever I want to 
maybe wear it out or when it's cold inside the house, you know, it'll be handy for that. But other than that, we just want to wear this whenever we work. And I also put a list on what's important to be on the jacket. So we got the rice bag for pins, you know, I can just stuff it in my pockets. My scissors, my measuring tapes, my ruler, and you know, all that junk that I need for a specific project. I can all have it ready in this apron thing. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I refine the design and pick out the fabric I need. All right, so I've chosen my fabric and looking at my fabric, I don't seem to have enough for the arm jacket thing. So I'm just gonna stick with the simple apron I know how many pockets I want, I know how many pockets I have, and we're just going to see what happens. This is what I have so far. I like the design, I like the color, and once I finish up the edges, I will let you guys see when it's done. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know the end product isn't anything like what I sketched, but I figured something simple would be a good first episode. And I think that by having such a simple project to start on, you kind of get the opportunity to practice how to kind of join fabrics together to create one cohesive piece. So what are the important points you should keep in mind? Well, the first thing is you got to have the correct fabric weight and color. If you want to do anything interesting with that, you can. And the second is to have plenty of planning. That means lots of sketching, lots of playing around before actually committing to cutting it. And third is execution, which should be your main concern once your idea is solid to make sure that you know there's no fraying edges there's no exposed things that aren't supposed to be exposed if you guys want to see more either with me making the arms or more tutorials like this if you can even call it a tutorial make sure to comment down below and if you liked the video leave a like and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content and i'll see you guys next time